Hi, in this video, I'm going to show how to build up an average value model for a half bridge converter. We built up the converter in the previous video, and now we are going to build the average value model of it. Then let's check the converter configurations. Our step uh, size is 1e-5 and we are using ODE4 solver and our type is fixed time, uh, fixed step and my simulation time is 0 0.5 seconds. For generating the gate pulses I am using sine PWM my sine function which is my M is uh, my amplitude is 1 and uh, the frequency is 60 Hertz because I have to put in radians we have to put 60 times 2 times pi and my switching frequency is 1000 Hertz or 1 kilohertz I am using the pulse G1 of the upper switch pulse to sh I'm showing here and my scope the output current IO I, I've named it IODM output current of my detailed model and output voltage of my detailed model and also I have shown the uh, average of my output uh, voltage so all in all together I will run the converter We can see that here is my pulses and this is my output voltage. The average of output voltage is calculated here and this is my current and here is my pulses for upper switch now I'm going to build the average value model before continuing to our simulation I would like to re review the concept <clears throat> average value model is based on the average of the switching states based on the switching states and switching function of S1 and S4 the upper and lower switch in half bridge converter so based on this theory the average of a uh, switching state for, for upper switch is equal to duty cycle D and for the lower switch it's 1 minus D and based on this we can find the and we replace m by we know we already know d equals to half m plus one then we replace 2d minus one by m and get the average value model the average value model consists of two current sources which their value is the IP is the upper suite positive uh, current source is 1 plus M over 2 times I and y minus, 1 minus M over 2 times I for the lower one and we have a controlled voltage source which its value is M times VDC over 2 and we only need the where i is our out load current so if we have the load current and m we can build up the average value model before building the average value model i would like to make my simulink model a little bit neat and tidy so what i'm going to do is to put these my detailed model in a 
subsystem. These are my inputs, the gating signals. I can even just give one gating signal and even more sim. Do more simplifications here. So this is my input G1. If I just only give G1, then I like I can calculate G2 based on G1, which is it's complementary. <clears throat> and here are, are my outputs the voltage and the load current the rest can go in a box this is my detailed model now and I will create you can just create subsystem from the selection now I can name this as DM or detailed model here are my outputs. I have two extra outputs that I don't need. This is my voltage current, and I don't need this one. And as well as this one. Here is my input G, and my output I and V. I will also name this signal, my sinusoidal signal, as M for my calculations. So go to M. <coughs> now, for building up the average value model, I need the DC source. Uh, current measurement, voltage measurement, and my load. I will cut and paste them here. And I will need a ground point from specialized technology toolbox. And I will need controlled. Current source again specialized power systems library and also controlled voltage source. I'll browse from the library and bring it up. Same specialized power systems and we can fundamental blocks, electrical sources, controlled voltage source. So I can build now my average value model. Here is the DC link. Midpoint is connected to ground. And I need another ground on the other side. This is the controlled current source for upper, lower. I need to calculate the values and the midpoint here will be connected to ground again and here is my voltage source I would like to calculate the current for my voltage source Uh, sorry, the load current. Here is the load current. And also the voltage here. And there we go. So I will name this go to as my 
VO AVM, my average value model output voltage, and another go to I will name this one as my IO underlying AVM. I need this value to calculate my for my uh, current source calculations. And I will name from I will use two signals for these. Name it IN and IP. Mm, I will use from for this one too. And let's say V S V source for this one. What I needed for V calculating V source is the DC voltage, half of the VC voltage, M times half of DC voltage gives me V S. So I will name it as VDC2 this is my half of VDC times M gives me VS I need a multiplication here product And M times this gives me Vs. The calculation of voltage source is done. Now I need to calculate the value of my current sources, which is, as we saw, it's 1 plus M times uh, IO. You can do, for example, you have the M, you have to. You have two different, you can use two different methods. For example, for I'm going to calculate M to the upper IP. So you have to, you need a summation and you need a constant. Then one plus M, I created one plus M and you need to multiply it again. 1 plus m over 2, 1 over 2, or you could just simply put, you can put 1 over 2 or 0 0.5 here, it's okay, and then times the current. This is your IP. You can calculate like this. I'm not going to use this method. I'm going to use a little bit uh, complicated method, but this is very, very faster. This method is faster than what I'm going to use now. I'll, I would like to show how to do it with MATLAB function. MATLAB functions, if you go to library, uh, here in Simulink library, you will have user defined functions, and from user defined functions here, MATLAB function. You can define any function that you like from by this block. And the only thing I need is two inputs for this one. Oh, I copy this and Control Z because I deleted I M and N, I O and M, which I needed for my calculations. These are my inputs for MATLAB function and 
y is my output for the MATLAB function. I, I need two outputs, so I put brackets. And inside brackets, I will define IP, comma, IN. These are my outputs. Function of, they are function of two things, M and, let's say, IO. Or IO. Then here, IP equals to IO times 1 plus M divided by 2 and one minus M divided by two gives me an IN, IN, IP. Now I have two outputs here, IP, IN, and my inputs are M modulation, and the load current IO. Here's my MATLAB function for calculation of IP and IN. Now I have calculated two current sources and one voltage source. Then I have my output current here. And I will compare this one with the output current given by my detailed model. So this is here, goes here, there we go, here's my AVM, and this is my detailed model. Now let's see the simulation result. So the simulation results are exactly the same. It confirms that here the blue one is the detailed model that we have the switching instance here and it takes the average of this. The uh, yellow one is the average value model and we get exactly the same results. It's just the average and we lose some uh, data which is our ripples and switching states uh, with average value model. But average value models are much faster than our detailed models.